Uh, this is a crazy story, Lewis. I mean, I you might have to do the story because there's a, there's an anti-gay Republican <laughs> named Randy Boning. Okay, he is a big anti-gay advocate. He's a, a North Dakota Republican. He's voted against bills protecting gay people from discrimination. He has now been caught exchanging nude photos, including of his penis. This is Randy Boning with another man on the gay dating app Grinder. Uh, Boning refused to identify who he believes is behind exposing him. And he thinks that it's political payback for Senate Bill 2279. But um, this came uh, uh, Dustin Smith, a 21 year old Bismarck man with no known connection to the Capitol, contacted the forum of Fargo Moorhead earlier this month, saying he recognizes boning from a gay dating smartphone app called Grinder, and that he was chatting with someone called Top Man and that boning sent Smith some suggestive messages, sexual sex. <laughs> sexually suggestive messages and also nude pictures. And it is random that this guy just randomly contacts, you know, contacts uh, the, the media. So there's a question as to whether this was provoked by someone or, or what exactly went on here. Boning has confirmed he is indeed top man and that he's bisexual, Lewis. Well, uh, it's great that he has stopped denying this. He could have tried to play the the Anthony Weiner card and uh, and just hide it and say, oh, it's not my penis. So I can't say with certitude, it's my penis yeah. and so on and so forth. But uh, you know what? I, if I'm going to applaud this man for anything, it's for actually admitting that he, he is uh, interested in men and that he did this. Well, he said that his family and friends didn't know that uh, he was bisexual. They thought he was an anti-gay heterosexual man. And he says that a thousand pound gorilla has been lifted. Wow, who knew it would feel so good to let his hypocrisy out of the closet? An anti-gay legislator who is bisexual, part of the LGBT community. Now that he feels so good about no longer lying, maybe he can make himself feel even better by not being a hypocritical bigot anymore. Well, I think his policies on uh, on LGBT rights probably helped him achieve office. So Maybe if he wants to uh, keep his seat, he will still uh, vote against uh, protection for the LGBT community. I don't really know. Yeah, he'll say, listen, all these straight guys who are anti-gay, they're not putting their money where their mouths are. I'm bisexual. I would I would benefit personally if we had better protections for LGBT individuals. And I'm going to pass legislation that will jeopardize a community. I'm a member of myself. That's how devoted I am. It's actually a pretty interesting sales pitch. It is. Now, I'm not uh, that well versed in, in North Dakota politics, but I have some ideas and um, we'll see what happens.